guitar playing to me is is such a large part of my life. I mean, I can safely say that that guitar it's beyond just playing it. It's become a behavior of mine. It's something that helps define myself to myself. It gives me a, a real sort of foundation as to what I'm, I, I feel and believe that I'm put on this earth to do, which is to make music. And you know, the guitar is like the foundation of that. If I'm bummed out, I'll go to my guitar. Now, a lot of times when I'm like really stressed out or I'm dealing with anxiety, I'll just play till I just calm down. When I'm feeling like I have this 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 feeling inside that just needs to get out, guitar helps helps that feeling. It's a, a creative tool, but on the other hand, it's also a rehabilitative, emotional, spiritual tool that I use as well. You know, to feed my inner self. <laughs> My household, when I was growing up, ever since I could remember, ever since I was a toddler, there was always a radio going on. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that I had an older brother who was 11 years older than me. And so there was always music going on. When I was uh, in, in seventh grade, a friend came over and said, look at this band, look how cool they are. And he showed me the album cover and I was looking at it and I thought, wow, what a strange looking band. What are they called? And my friend said, Kiss. I'm thinking, hmm. <laughs> and so we put the album on, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it was exactly what I, I wanted to hear, <laughs> strangely enough. And this friend came over with other albums. We started listening to Kiss, Skinner, Thin Lizzy, uh, ZZ Top. <laughs> The very first guitar player to really have a huge impact on me was probably Jimi Hendrix. I think I was about 13 or 14 years old when I saw the documentary called, you know, a film about Jimi Hendrix. It's the one where he's sitting on a stool playing a 12-string guitar. When I saw Hendrix up on the screen, I was just blown away because I was seeing a complete package. I was seeing a guy who could play guitar amazingly, who looked so different and so unique. Oh, he was just so much of a dynamic performer. It was everything, you know? And it was everything that I wanted to be. <laughs> and at one point I thought, this guy, he's the ultimate in guitar playing and I want to be just like him. I want to play just as well as him. I wanted to be Jimi Hendrix. All the traditional guitar players up to that point were a huge influence on me too, you know. Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page, and then you know, American guitar players like Eddie Van Halen, Joe Perry and Brad Whitford, Pat Travers, Thin Lizzy, and then I discovered UFO. When I first heard UFO and first, first heard Michael Schenker, my whole attitude changed. And to this day, I mean, Michael Schenker and Jimi Hendrix are, 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 are some of my main influences.
My first decent guitar was a Fender Strat. And I routed out the pickup, put a humbucker in there because that's what everyone else is doing, right at the bridge position. After getting bored with that, I moved on to a Gibson Flying V, which I still have. And then I realized I needed a second backup guitar. So I bought a Kramer, and this is when uh, um, Floyd Roses had just come out. I go to a rehearsal, you know, Exodus, start playing, go, go for the whammy bars, you know, start doing this, and pop! And I go, dang, okay. What, what, what was that pack of strings? And I read it, and I go, okay, I'm not going to use those. Go to the store, buy a different pack of strings, play, at rehearsal, use the whammy bar, pop! <laughs> Look at the pack of strings, okay, I'm not going to use those. Third pack, you know. Third try, go to rehearsal, whammy bar. All right, it's all right. You know, check my tuning. It's staying in tune. End of rehearsal. I didn't break any strings. What was the, what was the name of that? The, the, those those strings? Ernie Ball Super Slinky. Okay, Ernie Ball Super Slinky. These are the ones we need. I was 18 years old. I started using Ernie Ball Super Slinkies because they didn't break. <laughs> My attack is just heavy-handed, so I need strings that can take that heavy-handedness, stay in tune, and still sound clean and shimmery and shiny. The only strings I've ever found to do that were Ernie Balls. I mean, end of story. So what I use is the three top strings are from a 10 set, and then the bottom three strings are from a 48 set. And the reason for that is, you know, as a lead guitar player, I need to like, be able to like bend out the, uh, the light strings. And if I have 11s on, I notice that over the course of a tour, my hand gets fatigued. But if I go to 10s, it's, I'm, I'm, it's okay <laughs> over the course of a tour. It's so bizarre. And it only took me like 10 years to realize that. Obviously, you know, the, the bass strings, I want a heavier gauge so that it sounds heavier, you know, it sounds fuller when I play. solid musical idea and you know the solid musical idea can come out of anywhere or anything now you know that can come out of an acoustic guitar it can come out of an electric guitar it can come out of like me just messing around with a, a, a recorder and singing something into into my phone what I do is I ask myself, is this something that I'm going to be, be playing quietly or heavy? You know, tons of distortion or minimal distortion, uh, lead sound, rhythm sound, clean sound, echo, effects. I go down a mental list of the obvious possibilities for this, this musical idea. All this stuff, gear-wise, equipment-wise, is added after I have a solid musical idea. It's very rare that uh, the, the equipment will dictate any sort of music idea for myself. Nothing beats just having a good solid basis for your idea and then, then and taking it through the equipment rather than the other way around. around for over three decades. We're in our fourth decade, 
And, you know, we've been around so long, <laughs> and people have, have seen the Metallica name for so long that, you know, through pure osmosis, we've become part of, of, of you know, American culture, our social culture. Now we have fans who have been born and have always had Metallica. Metallica's always been in the background. To those people, you know, we are something more than just a band. We're part of, of the cultural landscape. I like to see it as doing my job as far as furthering the course of music, you know? I just hope that the job I'm doing is good enough so that people can say, that's pretty good. And you know, I like, I like what he's doing. I can do that. And like they pick up a guitar and like try and do what I do. I've been inspired so much from my idols that it just, you know, it took over my life. And thank God it did. Thank God it did. And I'm hoping that, you know, there, there are people out there who I can inspire to do the same and become good, you know, honest musicians with, you know, who play with a lot of sincerity, integrity, and emotion and, and create good music for me to listen to 20 years from now. It's all about just having fun and being creative and doing things that, that, that are different and new and exciting and, and also checking out what other discoveries and explorations other people have done and seeing what new and cool and different things they've done and hope that that stuff inspires me. I'm a guitar player, but I'm still a player in all this too, you know, in that I'm, I'm still checking people out, you know, I'm still looking at equipment, I'm still looking for, you know, something that I've never heard before. I'm still curious about music and, and other musicians and other techniques and approaches and perspectives. If I can further that, that sort of uh, musical curiosity along, you know, and inspire that in other people, man, I think I've done my job. get a guitar till I was about 19. We used to go over and drink beers and do other things at my buddy's house and his dad would play Bob Dylan songs and I just went to a pawn shop and got a guitar um, and immediately started writing songs. And